again, everybody, and welcome to another season of the Jamie Chadwell Show here at North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference. Well, Coach, it's season number two. I'm here with the, the probably the smartest, best-looking coach in America. I keep telling ESPN to call us, but they haven't done it yet. But, Coach, season number two. Are you ready? We are. We're excited about uh, getting started. You know, you, when you hit on each other for a while, you, you get you get more, start fighting all these things. We're ready to hit another opponent finally. Well, it's sad when you get that chance against Mars Hill, but... Obviously, the theme has been striking the stone, but this, this season's a little bit different. You want to crack it open wide. We do. It's uh, you know that's been our theme since we got here. Just and it's our mantra. We just want to work hard every day in anything that we're doing, and uh, we feel good about the progress we've made from season one to season two. We've got a full full year of off season program, a, a full year of recruiting. Felt like we brought in a lot of good kids to our program, and it's going to help us uh, improve. And uh, we'll see Saturday how far we've come. Well, you know, you, you said that, that you feel like you're ten times better than you were at this time last year because you really didn't know what you had. Mm -hmm. but now you've got your team ready to you think you play against a pretty good team this weekend. Yeah, it's it's still a big challenge. I, I've told everybody, we've got we've got 90 players on our team, 70 are freshmen or sophomores or retro freshmen. We only have 20 guys that are juniors or seniors. So we're still a real young team, real inexperienced, but uh, they're hungry. You know, they're excited about playing, and, and when you're hungry, you want to go eat. You know, and so I think they're looking forward to that. Hopefully... Uh, hopefully that youth uh, um, will, the inexperience of it won't, won't hurt us uh, this first game, and we're going to try to put guys in position to be successful. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. It is. Well, Coach, let's talk about this year's Crusaders. Look on your offense. Obviously, your offensive line will be one of your anchors because you've got a lot of veterans up mm -hmm. front, but you've got a lot of skilled guys that are coming back as well. We do. Uh, you know, our, we're going to have to rely on our own line. We've got Jordan Floro that's returning, that has played a lot of football. James Turns played a lot of football. I also had Jonah Durling that was going to be a returning starter. He got hurt this summer, and so it looks like he's probably not going to make it back for the years. But we've still got some return experience there. Uh, felt like we were going to have more skilled guys returning with experience, but uh, had some injuries in the offseason, as you guys know, at court. So we're going to have a brand new – uh, a brand new quarterback that's going to be playing, uh, brand new really basically wide receivers except for one, and then uh, in the running back situation we got seven running backs, uh, six of them are brand new. So we still got a lot of young uh, youngness there. Uh, they can run and they're exciting, and you get the ball in your hands. So we feel like we feel like we're going to be better. Uh, hopefully that's sooner than later. Let's talk about your quarterback situation. You've got Reggie Lewis, obviously, and Isaiah Johnson have working out mm -hmm. early part of the year. I'm not sure who you're going to put in there yet, but you kind of got a little surprise right at the end of camp there. We did. Uh, you know, Reginald and Isaiah have been really working hard to uh, put themselves in position to, to be the guy to lead the team to our goals this year. And, uh, I'm pleased with uh, the effort they put in. And, uh, you know, about, I guess it's about a little over a week ago now, uh, you know, got an email from uh, Mr. Corn about the, his son's interest here. And, and uh, we had a mutual interest, and, and he's been here. And people, people keep asking all these questions about him. They forget that he's only been here today will be eight days, eight days that he's actually practiced with us. And he's come a long way, well, he's come a long way in practicing and trying to learn our offense and really has done a good job of just fitting in with the guys. Uh, you know, everybody knew who he was coming in, and, and he could have handled it uh, either been uh, – sort of prima donna guy, hey, I'm, I'm from the big time, or we're handled the right way, and he's been exceptional the way he's handled, come in and kept his mouth shut. So we're excited about having him, and he's, he's working to try to get himself where he's ready to play. And um, right, right now, you know, going into the start of Reginald Lewis, we're a starter, and uh, we'll put our, put our uh, backs on him, let us see what he can do for us. Well, you know, obviously it had to be exciting to have that happen with, you know, with Willie come on to the mm -hmm. program. But a lot of the other guys have been working hard. You've got a lot of talent on offense. We do. I feel like uh, I feel like whoever's a quarterback, if they'll just execute, we've got some guys to get the ball in their hands. We've got a lot of young people, freshman-wise, that we feel like um, if, if we get the ball in the right situation, they can make something happen. And I think that's what we were missing last year. Um, I feel like there were some times we had some chances for some big plays and just didn't maybe athletically didn't, didn't have what we needed there. So we feel a lot better about that. Uh, you know, as coaches, you never want to rely on anybody new. Uh, you know, and like I said, especially under center. And no matter who plays for us, they're they're going to be brand new. So uh, that's why the old lines really got to carry us and, and use their leadership to calm our guys down. But uh, we're excited. I think I think offensively we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. Could have got much worse. So there's not only <laughs> only one way to go, but up there, uh, fans. But uh, feel good about the progress we're making. Let's look on the other side of the ball. Obviously, losing guys like Andre Bernardi and Joe Novotaski and John L. Bell up front. It's something you need to look, you know, find those replacements. Mm -hmm. But you're pretty comfortable with the linebacking situation and in your secondary. We are, you know, uh, you can't. It's hard to replace three guys of the caliber those guys were up front. And uh, we talk to our team all the time about, hey, uh, no matter what, somebody's got to show up and play. You know, we, we you lose a great player, maybe an injury, graduation, somebody's going to take the place. And so we got some good young guys up front. 
uh, that we feel like will hopefully take their place. Maybe not one guy, but maybe two or three that can fill that one spot. Tyron Melvin's a guy that feel like a D-line has a chance to be a really great player. But linebacker-wise, you mentioned Nathan Batcher's back, played a lot of football. A.J. Jones is just an unbelievable leader for us, and he's going to be a heck of a football player. He played a lot of snaps. Damian Wright played a lot of snaps. We've got a transfer, junior college transfer. Bobby McGowan's going to play a lot. So I feel real good about the linebacking core, their depth, uh, and what they're bringing to the table. And then secondary-wise, uh, you know, Jeremy Green's back from the corner position that played a lot of football last year. Jamarius Robinson, Nick Rosamond. So we got some experienced guys there. Have a lot of new guys there, too. Uh, but they're uh, very athletic. And uh, so we feel good about the progress they're making, you know. And like I said, as a coach, you feel good about who you brought in. You wish you wish you wouldn't have to play them right away. You'd love to let those guys learn. And, and But that's the program where we're at right now. So and I think that's why they wanted to come, because they wanted the chance to play early. And they're going to get it Saturday. Well, a couple more days before we get ready. Let's talk about Mars Hill a little bit. Had them here at Down Stadium last year. Very good team coming out of the South Atlantic Conference. But you would like to get that first check mark against them, wouldn't you? We would. It'd be it'd be uh, it'd be a great win for our program with with, with our kids. Uh, validate all the hard work they've been putting in. Um, you know, it's uh, going in. We're going in the South Atlantic Conference. Everybody knows next year, and I think we're playing two teams this year from that league. And, uh, it would be just good for us to let them know, hey, we're here to compete and we're here to go in this league and, and do some damage in it. I thought last year, obviously, Marshall was a great team. They're a great team this year. We had some chances to really be in that ball game last year, and hopefully we've improved as a as a football team. I'm sure they have, too. they got some great players, and the coaches do a great job there. Uh, but it'll be a big challenge to sort of see how far we've come in a year. Uh, I was telling somebody earlier, their head coach, man, I think this is his 15th season. They've had their program and development. We're in our second, so we're obviously way behind that. But hopefully we want to see in this one year how much progress have we made uh, over that one year to try to catch up with the people that we're going to be playing every year. And I think that's going to be the mark uh, of to see how far we've come. And, and hopefully, uh, Lord willing, it'll also be a win in that too. So that would be absolutely a great thing for us. It would be great. be great. Well, obviously he's opened the season with three straight road games. Following the Mars Hill game, uh, North Greenville travels down to Charleston Southern for a September 4th game, a game at Edward Waters. And the first home game will be September 18th at Yon Stadium against Lenore Ryan. That'll be a 7 o'clock kickoff. So you got a tough tough order to open the season, but I think there's a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm going into the year. There is. Our guys' attitude's been great. Uh, been looking forward to this season ever since, you know, last year when you, know, when you start recruiting and you're in your off season going through spring ball. Uh, there's just been a lot of positive energy. And uh, um, when you're young and you guys want to play, they're excited about doing it. And I think everybody's had a chance to really buy into what we're trying to do as our program, as our staff. And, our kids have done that, and I think the community starting to buy in. The administration understands what we're trying to do. So everybody, we all feel like we're right on the bus now. We're all heading in the right direction, and um, and uh, need you know we need the fans to be out there to encourage us on Saturday because it is uh, this is a very important game for us in this program because we do have three straight away games. We got four of the first five on the road, <laughs> and so with a young team, that's not not a schedule that you'd like to draw up, but it is what it is. And so uh, we'll need all the support we can get for you guys to get behind our team. Well, Coach, obviously once you get past that game, you're looking forward to that home game. But, uh, fans, if you can't make it up to Mars Hill, be sure to check out the game live. It'll be streamed live on our website, www.ngcrusaders.com. And we'll also look forward to seeing you out at Young Stadium on September 18th. Well, Coach, sum it up for us. What do we have to do this weekend? Uh, well, uh, first and foremost, offensively, we've got to take care of the ball. If we don't turn the ball, we had a lot of turnovers last year. As you remember, we've spent a lot of time of really talking about that, not turning the football over. And then defensive, we got to tackle the running back. He's a great player, as you guys know. He's an All-American. I think he rushed for almost 2,000 yards. If we can, if we, I don't know if we can stop him, but if we can slow him down and put them in situations where they need to throw and they don't have the opportunity to really hand him the ball, I think we'll be in that football game in the fourth quarter and, and be ready where we need to be. Well, Coach, we'll look forward to seeing how you come out this weekend. We're hoping this time next week we're talking about a win. That'd be great. Okay, for Coach Jamie Chadwell, I'm Fred Battenfield. This is the Crusaders Sports Network.